Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing the Snowstorm book tag. This was created by Chloe from Always Booked. Um, so I will link her channel and her video down below. But um, this was perfect timing. I saw that she tagged me in this on Instagram like the same day that I woke up to tons of snow. I live in Texas. I'm sure you've heard on social media. Texas is in the middle of a big winter storm right now and I'm sure all you northerners are laughing at us. But our, we're not prepared for this. Like our cities and our state like literally does not have the equipment to like help take care of the streets and clearly our electricity companies were not prepared for this and our houses are built differently and so it's very different than what it is when you guys get a snowstorm up north. Hey guys, so as I'm editing this video, I just wanted to get on here and say I hope that this video does not come off as insensitive right now because I know um, we in Texas are going through a lot, but this is like, I just wanted to do this fun tag and I filmed it pretty early on in the um, like storm thing. My husband and I have been super blessed and lucky that we share the same, we're on the same power grid as the water plant. So they have not been able to shut off our electricity in the rolling blackouts. So we are so thankful for that and we have not lost water either. So I understand that we are so blessed um, in this, but other people are struggling so much. Um, we have friends that are struggling. My immediate family doesn't live in Austin, but they are struggling. Um, they do live in Texas and um, my sister owns a store and the pipes are in the ceiling and the pipes burst and like all the merchandise is destroyed. And so like, I am not making light of this storm by any means with this tag. I understand people are going through rough times. I will actually um, leave some resources down below if you're interested in how you can help. But um, it is supposed to start warming up um, Friday. Today is Thursday. So hopefully we will see some improvement then as well. But um, I just wanted to add this in here. I don't want anyone to think that I'm being insensitive by um, posting this video right now, being that I'm also in Texas and we just have been super, super lucky to not be hit as badly by this as pretty much everyone else. So um, yeah, but thank you guys for watching. Like I said, if you want to help, I'll have things down below, but hopefully this storm is almost over and things will improve from here. But I'm here in my sweatshirt. This is my Highlander romance sweatshirt because I've been living in these because it's too cold to wear anything else. Normally I would change into something nicer for a video, but I feel like all the videos you guys have gotten from me lately, I have been in sweatshirts because it is just the only thing warm. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first question is, good morning. When you wake up, you see the snow is falling outside. Name a book that you weren't quite sure how you felt about it. So for this, I'm gonna go with 10 Rules for Faking It, I believe by Sophie Sullivan. Um, this was an arc I had, I think it came out in December, but I read it in January, and I really wanted to like it. I, for the most part, liked the characters. I liked the idea. So she works at a radio station, and she walks in one day, um, well, on her birthday she catches her boyfriend sleeping with someone else and so she walks into the radio station and tells her friend all of this and just like vents and then her friend is like oh, we were on air I was about to sing you happy birthday on air so they get a lot of phone calls into the radio station of people like feeling sorry for her wanting to support her whatever and so the radio station kind of turns this into a like bachelor type thing only like obviously on the radio not on tv right and so she goes on these different dates and um then like reports back about the dates but she ends up falling for the guy who is running the radio station and I wanted to like it but it was just so long and nothing was happening and then there was a lot of like secrets he was keeping so I just wasn't really sure how I felt about it because like I said I really wanted to like it but I just didn't. Okay question number two. It looks so pretty when everything is white and sparkly. Show us your favorite wintry covers. I didn't have many so I grabbed Finding Christmas by Karen Schaller. Um, which is super wintry. It kind of looks like Stars Hollow in Christmas time. Or I grabbed Double in Winter by Lisa Kleypas. They're sitting in the snow. That's about all I had, but um, yeah, very wintry covers. 
Okay, number three, there's nothing like playing in some freshly fallen snow so you can call some of your friends to go sledding. Name one of your favorite friend groups. So I have more favorite families than I do favorite friend groups, but I would say two of my favorite friend groups are from the Girl Meets Duke series. This is a group of three or four friends. Um, in historical romances, and then also the Red Rogues from the Devil You Know, Devil You May Know, Devil You Know series by Kerrigan Byrne. Um, this is three women who I believe are all redheads who are at university together where it is mostly men, and so they form this kind of like society um, while they're there, and each book follows a different girl. Okay, number four, you must have slept in a little because the best hills are already pretty busy and the snow is packed on firm, making the hills extra fast. Name a book that was so fast paced you couldn't stop reading. So for this, of course I had to go with a thriller. Um, I have lots of romances that I don't stop reading because I love them, but when it comes to like a fast paced book, I always think of thrillers. So um, The Last Flight by Julie Clark. I loved this book so much. This is probably my favorite thriller I've ever read. Granted, I've only read like five or six, so but I really loved this book a lot. This is the story of a woman whose husband is like terrible and she has this whole trip planned to kind of escape from him. Things like go mistaken and she he like actually is like hey I need you to go on this different business trip instead and so her plan is like screwed. So while she's in the airport she convinces this other lady to um, switch tickets with her because this other lady has some other things that she is running from as well and then one of the planes crashes and like disappears um, and so people think that one of the women is dead when she's really not um, because she switched tickets and so it's following like them as they are figuring out life in this new place it was really good I don't I don't want to say too much more because it is a thriller but it was really good Okay, number five, the roads are getting bad and the traffic is crawling. Name a book that took you forever to get through. Um, I have Lord of Scoundrels by Loretta Chase. So this took me a couple days to get through, um, which isn't that bad, except for the fact that I had super high hopes for this and knows that everyone loves it. And I was in historical romance mood while I was reading it. And it took me forever to get through. Um, I did enjoy it, but I think... I think, I don't know, I think there were other factors going on that took me so long and then because it took me so long I didn't end up loving it as much as I wanted to. Okay, number six, sledding is fun but exhausting, time to have a snack. Name a book with a foodie element. Bonus question, tell us your favorite wintertime snack or drink. So I just finished Make a Scene by Mimi Grace. This is a really cute fake dating romance but the heroine owns a bakery so there's not a ton of food emphasis on this but there is a little bit. We see glimpses of her making things and the guy she ends up with trying her food and him even trying to bake some of them when they're like separated for a while. So it was really cute. I loved this book a lot. If you were into fake dating, definitely recommend it. It's pretty short. I think it's only like 200 pages, so it was adorable. Um, and then my favorite wintertime snack, I don't really have different snacks based on the seasons. For Christmas time, my favorite is we do like peanut butter crackers, so like, you know, peanut butter in the middle of Ritz crackers, and we dip them in chocolate. Um, that is my favorite, favorite, favorite. I'm sure it has a name. I don't know what it's called. But we only get those around Christmas time because it's like a special treat and I would eat way too many otherwise. But other than that, I don't know, like maybe hot chocolate. There's nothing really specific seasonally that I eat or drink. Okay, number seven. That snack was great, but you just can't quite shake the chill, so you go sit by the fireplace to get some heat. Name a hot new release that you loved or one that you're excited about. So for this, I have Like You Loved Me by Adriana Locke. My February new releases vlog should be coming out this week, I believe, and you hear me rave about this book in there, so I'm not going to talk about it too much, but it is a contemporary, like, modern-day marriage of convenience. They knew each other when they were kids, and now are obviously adults. It is adorable. I love it so freaking much. It actually just came out yesterday on the day I'm filming this. It came out February 16th. So go check it out. It's so good. So, so, so good. All right, number eight. The snow has been falling for hours and it's still coming down out there. Name an ongoing series that you are loving. 
I have so many. I have the Girl Meets Duke series, the Girl Meets Duke series by Tessa Dare, the Devil You Know series by Kerrigan Byrne, the Bergman Brothers series by Chloe Lees, the Bromance Book Club series by Lisa K. Adams. I did a whole video during Vlogmas of anticipated um, sequels that I'm excited about. So it's like literally just books that are in series that are coming out in 2021. So if you are interested in that, definitely go check that out. Okay, number nine, it's evening now and there's so much snow. Schools have been canceled and activities have been canceled for tomorrow, giving you nothing to do but stay home and read. Name a book you finished in a day. So I finish a lot of books in a day these days or like if I don't it's because I started it at night and then I finish it the next morning so like it's still kind of 24 hours but one that I specifically remember this last summer um like not even moving <laughs> until I was done with this book like I did not take a break at all like read it in one sitting was 10 blind dates by Ashley Elston this is a young adult book she has just broken up with her boyfriend and goes to stay with her grandparents for Christmas and her whole extended family is there and they take turns setting her up on 10 blind dates and it is just the cutest thing ever and I love this book so much. Okay and then number 10 is it's time to go to bed and get warm and cozy name a book or genre that you read when you want some comfort. Um, I don't reread often so I don't know that I have a book that I would reread for comfort but just obviously the romance genre or historical romance um I would definitely not pick up a thriller before bed if I'm looking for comfort. I have gotten more into thrillers in the last year, but that would not be a comfort read for me. So definitely any kind of contemporary or historical romance. So anyway, those are the 10 questions. Thank you so much, Chloe, for creating this tag. This was super fun. And I would love to see everyone's answers. So definitely everyone do this as well. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.